people found hundreds of these medical files in these dumpsters right behind me. Now, the doctors have since cleared them out. Right now, we're on PCH near Clark. They specifically came from this building right over here, from this parking structure inside. Now, I spoke to the proper property manager on the phone. She said since last year, she gave tenants warning so the parking structure would be cleaned out. She figured that the doctors would know what was inside and how to clean it out, how to dispose it. One of them was almost full, and one of them was full from top to bottom with no debris, just nothing but um, files, uh, patient charts. Marianne Neese shows us the dumpster behind her son's former doctor's Long Beach office, where she found hundreds of medical files Saturday, many dating back to the 90s. Something that should never, ever, ever happen. They weren't even shredded. Every single one of them were intact. Intact with very personal information out there for anyone to see. I found charts with diagnosis, his name, um, insurance company information, home numbers and address, social security numbers. Then, Monday afternoon, oh my God, look. We found hundreds more in a third dumpster. It was in there, all personal information and all intact. We wanted to know why. Fox 11 reached out to two doctors whose names were spotted in the files. Dentist Brett Beebe did not immediately get back to us. But a short while later, we found him at the dumpster. Beebe says he came after hearing patient files were found. We filled my, tr my car with, with charts. He said he plans to shred them. He did not know there were more. We had our stuff down, um, our archive charts locked down in, in the basement, and they totally cleaned the basement. They is property management. It's now unclear how many files have not been found. There's probably thousands and thousands, because there's a lot of doctors and dentists here. Now, the wife of another doctor, Rafael Vergara, got back to me. She said he has not worked in this building in two years, that they are very concerned about the situation, and they are shredding all the documents that they find. Now, I also contacted the state medical board. They say that doctors have to confidentially destroy records. Not doing so is a breach, and the penalties could be as severe as revoking a license. But someone has to complain, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a patient. Reporting from Long Beach, Zorin Adamji. Fox 11 News.